The triggers can be function as manual triggers for trigger not just sounds but also clocking a sequencer or other things. For uh, this example I will show you I connected um, the trigger out, trigger number 7, into the envelope that uh, opens up the filter passing a sound and I also stack and took the cable into the clock input on the Z1000. So if I hit uh, the trigger manually you see how I go through the steps. Now this is pretty nice obviously and very useful because uh, it plays the sequence also while uh, opening the uh, envelope. Um, let's see if I uh, have a little longer envelope here. Let's see. Okay. I also took uh, another um, channel and I took it into the direction on the Z1000. So let's say if I go uh, to this view and uh, I put some notes here and hold this down. So you see it's reversed the notes only when it hits this section. I go back to vertical and uh, let's say I copy this uh, preset, paste it here, paste it here, paste it here, and I'm going to set the loop, and let it start looping, do some interesting things, let me go to uh, 4 by 16 here are my notes, I can go to uh, the last channel, and let's say I can change this, so... So this is basically the reverse section. I'm applying a long a, a gate uh, by holding those buttons. And you can see how the sequence is moving back and forward. I can maybe break this off. Very, very useful in making melodies. You can go back here. On channel one, I can maybe add a bass drum. Go into channel three, let's add some. Kind of move back and forward. The Z8000 is the one who provides the pitch content for a sequence. Remember, the circadian rhythm is, is a trigger sequencer, a trigger and gate sequencer. Okay. So you can see how useful. The, the gate section is to create all kind of interesting movement in the sequence.